the nature, the city, the life, the whole existence in front of me. But I come here almost once a week. You know, once a week is, should be more, but. You know, we have lost the context. We living in the surface. Nature is like a kid. It's, it's honest, you know? It, it doesn't play games. It doesn't know what is politics. It, it's quite honest, you know? When, it, when it's happy, it shines. When it's sad, it rains. When it's mad, there will be earthquake. It doesn't play games. I'm from Iran, I was born in Iran. I had an uncle, he was a painter. My mom uncle used to be a painter and as a kid I used to go to his, you know, studio and have seen all these big paintings. I think, is this guy crazy? But, uh, you know, year after year, you know, somehow I was more interested to continue art. I went to art classes and now I find myself the same crazy guy. Well, I think art is not something you choose. It kind of chooses you. I mean, as a kid, most people want to be doctor, engineers. But art is something that it kind of grabs you. It's something that you don't plan to be, but it kind of uh, make you to follow it if you have any passion for it. It's addictive. I had a, I have an uncle who was a very prominent painter and as a kid I used to go to the studio and watch him paint and my mom used to draw but then I went to art high school and went to some classes and then uh, went to university to study art. You know, I mean, I didn't try, I don't know how to say it, but I did not uh, uh, I don't know what, how to put it in words, but it's something that you become. It's not something that, you know, you, you, you want to paint, you want to draw, you want to do everything, but it, it, it's not as pragmatic as, you know, let's say science works that, you know, you have to do this, 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 this. You just do your job, you put your passion and it, it, it comes. You have a feeling of longing, you know, you, you come from your country, live in a different country, and you cannot erase the memory, you know. You know, you have all this past, and you cannot just erase it, you know. And uh, it comes to your work, whether you want or not, where you come from, comes to your work. You cannot, you cannot deny it. It's under the surface, it's in your blood. I mean, you cannot forget your past, you know, where you come from. Whether you want or not, it's, it's in you, it's in your blood. It's in the every, I would say it this way, it's in every molecule of your work, every inch of your work, whether the viewers see it or not, but you know it's there. I mean, as an artist, you're always evolving, you know, whether you're painter, musician, writer, or anything you're doing, you're always evolving, you're not in the same place. 
but you know to explain more I would say the current body of my work that I'm doing are leaning more toward figurative work uh, I started with figurative long ago I went more to abstraction I'm a still abstract painter but my abstraction it's somewhere between total abstraction and being figurative somewhere is there and uh, it's more about the aura of the figure the aura of being the aura of existence that's what I try to convey these days and for some reason my color is moving toward more uh, Earthy tones. Uh, my color palette is changing. I'm seeing different things, which is good. artists are alone because creating an art is something very private it's very intimate I think the whole abstract painting itself it's very immense. It's it's very hard to be disciplined in it. Because uh, you can do so many things, but to be disciplined, it, it's just a different thing. It's uh, it demands quite guts, I would say. Uh, controlling is good, but sometimes letting it go is a control too. To, I mean there are so many rules in it but when somebody look at it they, they don't know there's any rule they think it's a mishmash which is not which is not okay to cut the story short my work deals with uh, essence of matters the emotional response from things and most of the feelings that are in my painting come from human, like virtues, happiness, sadness, sorrow. Anything that has emotion connotation to it affects my work. It's a very, they're more intimate. Most of the time, I would listen to music. There is a great relationship between abstract painting and music. I mean, 
For example, when you listen to the music or CD, this piece that you're hearing is an organization of, you know, various instruments, various musicians, and they're trying to compose this thing called like, this piece, this this music. Same thing in a painting, like you know, texture, color, contrast, tone, all these elements contribute to the organization as a whole to create it a piece. So these are, I think, music and abstract painting are very much close. They're so parallel. But the difference is music seems to be more entertaining because you hear it versus abstract work. You, you much more have to have a knowledge about it to judge the piece because it's a visual language. Not everybody have that. And you cannot even blame it on people. It's, it's a very tricky, very tricky language. To me, you know, medium is not much important. It is important and it's not important. You know, it's, it's just the tool to show what you want to say. And uh, sometimes you have to say, sometimes you have to whisper, sometimes you have to shout. So depending on what you want to say, you use the medium, whether it's acrylic or oil or charcoal or watercolor. These are just mediums. It's not, you know, the aim. My color palettes, you know, depending on the time, changing, you know. I think a, an artist is the one that doesn't stay in one place, you know, all this continually evolving you uh, your palette change because you new environment you know but it's you it's you in the canvas For sure, I mean, there are influences in the work, you know, whether you want or not, you're in a different environment, different mode, different continent, different place, you know, it affects, affects your, affects your work. But bottom line, whether you're in America or you're in the moon, your work comes from the place you grew up. You cannot deny where you're from. Execute the painting and it's right there. Either you have it or you don't have it. I mean, for me. It's something quite intrinsic. It's like giving birth. It's you have this thing inside and you want to let it out. But the difference is that you have this thing in, but when you want to let it out, 
you want to put your own interpretation of the word and add it to this thing before letting it out. You know, that doesn't mean I finish the work fast. I mean, I have pieces I work three, four months on them, then I destroyed it at the end. It doesn't mean it. I just like to work faster. I use oil too, but uh, sometimes when I finish the work with acrylic, and when I do figurative work, not figurative abstract, when I do paint somebody's portraits and, you know, figures, because I have a time to sit and paint them, you know, make every color and this and that, you know. But again, it's not a important question, you know, whether it's oil, whether it's uh, acrylic. Bottom line, it's all about image making. You make this image called painting. That's not my job to say, you know, it's, uh, I know what am I doing. And my work is more about finding the tunes, you know, I'm painting for myself. It's, I would say it's more of like a ritual, you paint to say something and to first you need to be satisfied as an artist and standing out to me yes they're standing out because i was the creator of these pieces so yes they're standing out because i'm happy with them